Hello once again everybody, fellow flight simmers and cockpit builders. So this is going to be a short video, I promise, I think. But anyway, um, the uh, last couple of weeks, um, there was a couple of uh, people that were asking me for help regarding uh, seven segment displays, you know, and they were having a lot of issues. And actually, I am going to do another video talking about you know those kind of issues not only when it comes to seven segment displays but just about anything but here i have um another new little thing that i made because i realized that my test panel which is the one i was using to demonstrate a lot of these things to you guys had become extremely complicated and very messy as far as the wiring and everything so i figured that why not make a new setup where it's a lot cleaner and then that way I can explain things to you guys, you know, without confusing you guys with all the wires and all the different things that are already connected to it. So I decided to build myself this little thing here so that I can just connect a few components at a time, uh, depending on, you know, the component that we're talking about. But to start off the series, I'm going to start with something that I got asked uh, not only a couple of days ago, but also many times over the last year or so whenever I started making videos about this so that question is how do I make my my data system bus distribution hub and my power you know power rails distribution and like I said remember a lot of times when I'm doing these things this is just um, a basic example so that I can do some testing I can put things together so that I can try them out you know this is not meant to be for a solution that that stays like this even though I must confess that's the way my main setup is and it's working just fine but it's always recommended that you that you actually solder all the connections you know that everything that nothing remains like this because it could come off you know if you move wires around or whatever the next thing you know something came off and then you don't know where the problem is because you can't find it because there's so many wires but anyway so this is how I do my my data distribution hub um, this one right here but since I'm using one of these prototype boards that is very long I'm actually also using it as a power distribution right here on the bottom so you know you take the pins number 22 through 29 off of the Arduino here those are the S0 through S4 and then the L, D and the T lines and you basically take them out here oh and the signal line too you take them out here and then I put them on the very edge of my little thing here and um, I put jumpers across the middle here because these are not continuous when you jump over from one half of it to the other half of it it doesn't have electrical continuity so I have to make this jumper so then I can also use this on this entire side of little pins and then from here you know when I'm putting an output multiplexer or input multiplexers I can just branch out the wires from here remember the output multiplexer needs five wires which is s0 through s3 plus the signal line so that's what i got here and then for the input multiplexers all you need is the s0 through the s3 so i got four wires here that are coming out over here so and then the power rail is the same thing you know i got the five volts here out of the arduino in the ground and I just bring it over to here and then now I can branch out you know as many uh, voltage or ground lines that I want to join up I can just get them and bring them into here instead of trying to figure out a way how to get them into the Arduino because you only have a couple of places where you can put them so this allows you to you know bring in multiple sources or take out multiple sources and then this power line continues down here and I have another little little uh, prototype thing over here where I just use for the positive and the negative and that's it as you can see I'm feeding the multiplexers right here with that but so this is going to be the basic setup that I'm going to use to you know explain certain things and you know I'm just doing this at like you know I got that nasty gram you know the other day and you guys have seen the video probably that I made about it, whether I should stop making videos or not but I always figure there's always going to be somebody that's just starting out somebody that's just beginning to get into this kind of a hobby and 
they could be discouraged i guess you can say you know if they don't know how to read schematics or if they don't understand what is being said in text and that's the reason why i started doing these videos once again i'll say it again you know so i figured you know now that i have this clean slate right here maybe it would be a good time to go back to the basics and just start explaining from the very basic uh, push buttons and toggle switches and then build our way up to a little bit more complicated um, components. Um, I still haven't played around with servos and with stepper motors so I'm not gonna get into that yet but I will get into it eventually I think. Um, I already have some parts I just have to play around with them and learn how to use them myself before I try to explain them to other people. And as always, you know, all the information is on the, I was about to say SimVim website, but now it's the HCSCI website. Um, you know, so you can always go there and read it and, and get a better, clearer explanation. And also, you know, if, if you don't understand something and even if I don't know how to explain it that good, there's always tons of videos on YouTube where you can find a lot of very good tutorials on, on basic wiring. The only difference is that when I'm going through these videos here, I'm trying to concentrate on using them for the flight simulator and using them specifically with uh, what used to be SimVim cockpit, which is now that uh, HCSCI, you know, so that's the only difference here. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much it. You know, hopefully you guys, um, if you guys want to, you know, leave me some comments and give me some ideas about some of the basic things um, that you would like to see, uh, go ahead and write me a comment down there and, and I'll go from there. You know, and please don't start to asking me about doing a matrix because that's something that I have never done. And uh, it's, it's a ton of wiring, I think. And even for me, I think that seems a little bit um, complex. So, because I'm just a beginner too. <laughs> so, just try to keep it simple, you know, to the basics. The, the things that I have already played around with and worked on. Alright? So, that's it for this video. Hopefully, you guys like this idea. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.